I'm Nigel Robertson. And I'm Gabrielle Komorowski. Tonight, there is a push to strip an upstate mayor of some of his power. This after the mayor fired his police chief and lieutenant within the department. WYFF News Force Mandy Gaither is live and local in Calhoun Falls with the latest. Mandy. Well, Nigel, in about an hour, there will be a special called meeting here, and the only thing on the agenda is this ordinance. For the second time in three years, Calhoun Falls patrol cars sit still outside the police department. Abbeville County Sheriff's Office is temporarily doing patrols as the town doesn't have anyone else who can do it. Mayor Johnny Waller fired the police chief and lieutenant at the end of February. Town officials say because of those firings, another officer resigned. One is on leave and another is still at the academy. There's just been a lot of frustration. Calhoun Falls Council Councilwoman and Mayor Pro Tem Mindy Rogers says she met with Mayor Waller prior to the firings. I had uh, hoped that maybe he would go a different route. I, I felt like it could have been handled differently, um, but you know, I, we just felt like uh, I felt like we, I wasn't being heard. Roger says in 2004, the town voted to have a strong council form of government. Two years later, a law was passed to give the mayor some of that power back. Tonight, with this ordinance, town council is looking to repeal that, making it so the mayor couldn't hire or fire department heads without council. We just feel like when it comes to big decisions, such as taking action on your chief or any department head, um, you know, that should be done by council the way the, ta the people of Calhoun Falls wanted it to be done. The ordinance would need two readings to be final. The second vote would have to be at least seven days past the first one. And we weren't able to get in touch with the mayor today. Officials here tell us that he's had a heart attack and he is home resting now. Mandy Gaither, WYFF News 4, live in Calhoun Falls.